Hey guys, Brick Queen here with an invisibility cloak comparison. Several of you have been asking me to do this video and I've been meaning to for a while now. So I finally got to it. There are four different invisibility cloaks that Lego has made over the years. Um, and before I really get into these and show you each one, I'm wondering how many of you knew that there were four different ones? I'm, I'm guessing a lot of people probably only thought about these two. Um, the latter two um, as being invisibility cloaks because the original two were basically just purple capes but they actually were um, supposed to kind of represent I guess the invisibility cloak in a way um, so this one this first one here uh, this one was in three sets uh, all back in 2001 uh, so this was the original invisibility cloak and uh, they describe it as just a violet cape, basically. Um, but that is supposed to be the original. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know of anybody that would pick that as their favorite invisibility cloak, but um, it is kind of cool just because it was the first. Um, and then they kind of then decided to update it with this one. This one they came out with in 2004 in uh, the Marauders map set, uh, which I've been meaning to get back out and do an update on. Um, but this is the one from the Marauders map. Um, it is very, very similar. It's almost identical, but if you set them side by side, you can tell there's just a slight difference in the color. Uh, the, the skin tone Harry Potter has a slightly darker purple cape. Um, and for some people, it's not even as much, it's not enough of a difference to even mention, but I thought I would throw that in there anyway. So there's the older two. Then in 2010, we got this version, which I really, really like actually. Um, I thought this one was really cool. Uh, it's just a piece of cloth that you sit on top of them basically. Um, <laughs> and. You know, especially if you have like a white background like this, it almost does really make him look invisible <laughs> in a way. Uh, so it's kind of neat. Um, this one was in, I, I want to say two different 2010 sets, um, if I remember right. And if I don't, feel free to let me know in the comments, tell me uh, what is correct on that. Um, I'm going off memory on that. I think it was in both of the sets, but I'm not 100% sure on that, uh, but that was in 2010. And then this is the newest one, the 2018 version from the minifigure series, which is absolutely awesome. Uh, this is definitely supposed to represent when he first got it and uh, he tried it on and didn't realize it was an invisibility cloak at, at first. And so he kind of looked headless well, not headless, <laughs> what what would be the word for it? Bodiless, I guess you'd say. Um, he, he just kind of looked like a floating head, uh, which is almost what this looks like. And so one side, we get this super shiny, awesome, uh, you know, side to this. And on the other side of it, it looks like this, which is also really cool. Um, so, you know, it can kind of look more like a regular cape on that side. And it's got a really cool, uh, design um, that really does look a lot like the movie. So um, I, for one, you know, think this is definitely my favorite invisibility cloak. Uh, I think it is just awesome. I, I love that it's so shiny that it's, I don't know, it's just so reflective. It, it looks cool to me. Um, but I also really, really like the 2010 one. It was really cool too. Uh, but for me, one thing that I really prefer on the 2018 version is that you can actually attach this to a minifigure and this one just kind of sits on top of it which I mean yes it is kind of the way he used it it, it was just kind of thrown over the top of him but uh, as far as you know Lego use goes um, it's really easy to lose this one <laughs> that's the thing because you can't attach it so I, I just prefer things that you can actually attach to them so you can't lose it. <laughs> so, I mean, that's just like, I guess, a personal preference. But 
Anyway, I thought I would show you all the different versions of the invisibility cloak. Um, and let me know in the comments what you guys think. Um, I don't know what everybody thinks. Feel free to disagree with me. And if you do agree, great. If you don't, that's fine too. Let me know in the comments. And if there's any other uh, videos like this, any other collections, comparisons, anything like that you want to see. And it doesn't necessarily have to be out of the Harry Potter theme. If you want to see something from a different theme, feel free to let me know in the comments and I will see you guys later. Before you go, click my minifigure to subscribe or click Brick Titan's minifigure to subscribe to his channel. And if you've already done that, click the picture to see more of my videos. And as always, thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.